In this video, we are going to talk about what an effective rate is. So when something is uh, earning, let's say it's some sort of a savings account or investment that's earning 10% compounded, um, if it compounded one time per year, yes, you'd be earning 10%. But as soon as you start to compound something more than one time, it's when you take this 10% and break it into smaller um, percentages, but compound it more times per year, um, you actually end up earning more than 10%. So to find that, figure out exactly what is it that you're really returning, um, we have this equation. So it's very similar to your compound interest, but it's not taking it into account any dollar value. Um, and then this one is taking your rate, you're breaking it up into how many times uh, it's compounding per year. And then you're raising it to that power because that would represent how many total times in one year that you're going to compound something. And then um, you subtract the one back out. You start off by plugging in the one or adding the one, doing the math, and then you subtract the one out. And that's going to leave you with the percentage. So, um, so to find it, we're actually going to do two examples. We're going to compare what the difference is. So if you're earning a 10% compounded semi-annually, um, we're gonna start with, if it's semi-annually, that means it's compounding every um, two times a year. And so your effective rate is going to be one plus your rate, which is 10%. You're dividing it by two. So essentially you're earning 5% twice a year and you're raising it to the second power, all right? Cause it's gonna compound two times. And then we'll subtract the one out to actually turn it back to 1%. So if you plug that into a calculator, let's make sure we're okay with that part, is um, we are going to, um, so let's see, we start with parentheses, and then we're gonna take one plus 0.1 divided by two, and then we'll raise it to the second power, and then get off of the exponent, minus one. And there is our percentage. So that 10.2, or it's, 0.1025, write that down. 0.1025 is really you earn 10.25%. And that's really what ended up happening. So even though it states that you're earning a 10% because you're compounding, it's the interest earning interest, you got a little extra because of that interest earning interest, the one time extra per year. Okay, so what happens, or is it different if you were compounding it, let's say daily? If you were compounding it daily, we use 365 as our daily, then you would be having one plus the same rate divided by 365 raised to the 365 and then minus one. So let's see what the difference is. So if we do that, we'll take the same formula, one plus 0 0.10 um, divided by 365, close your parentheses, raised to the 365, up the exponent, minus one. And that definitely is gonna get us a difference. So 0 0.1052. So you're looking at 10.52%. So it is a difference. Um, more times you can compound something, um, the better off it's going to be if nothing else really changes other than the fact that you're just compounding it more times. So that's that may not seem like a lot, but if you put some money into it over time, if you're getting that much more each, each year and you do this out enough years, it will make a difference. Okay, so that was called an effective rate. An effective rate is really just what are you really earning on something um, if something is compounded more than one time per year. Thanks.